Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants. Come on now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. I was off yesterday celebrating my wife's birthday, which is why I did not have a video on the Team USA, Team WNBA All-Star Game on Saturday. But I'm home now. And, oh boy, oh boy. But before we jump in, please, I thank you for all your support. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and help get us, you know, keep us moving forward, and keep us, you know, keep our subs jumping up. We greatly appreciate you, and thank you so much. Team WNBA beats Team USA 117-109 in the all-star game on Saturday. Are you surprised? I'm not. I'm not surprised one bit. In fact, I expected it. I absolutely expected it. There are two players, two, that absolutely should be on Team USA. Brianna Stewart, and Asia Wilson. The rest of them, I'd probably also say Brittany Griner for her size. But the rest of them, you can replace them with nine, nine players from Team WNBA. Because the fact of the matter is, this game should have had real stakes beyond the fact of Team USA, Team USA, getting drop kicked by Team WNBA. They were down 19. They got their ass kicked. They didn't lose. They got their asses kicked behind a monstrous performance by Enrique Ogumbawale, along with what 34 on 10 of 20 and 8 of 13 from three. Alicia Gray with 16, Kelsey Mitchell with 13, Angel Reese with 12 and 11, Neka Agumake with 14, and Caitlin Clark dishing 10 assists, had an awful shooting night, but 10 assists. Could have easily broken the record had they played her in the fourth quarter, would have broken the record. She did set a WNBA rookie record for assists in an All-Star game. The, the, the actual record is 11 with, by Sue Bird, so I can expect that next year that Caitlin Clark will probably break that record. But they got their asses kicked. And this is the team that's going to represent the United States of America in the Olympics. And they're going to win. And they're going to win by a lot. But this crap is out of control when they were sitting here saying that there are certain players that could not handle the physicality of the international game. Well, you know what? Maybe Team USA can't handle the physicality of the international game because they just got beat by 12 American Team WNBA All-Stars. The people that you didn't want on the team just beat your ass. Agumba Wale went off. Arike went off. I mean, holy crap. They should have been playing that game for the winner to go to represent the U.S. in the Olympics. I think that would have made it even more fun. Would have made it a lot more fun. Have the winner represent the United States. And if going forward, when they have these games in the future, they should do exactly that. Because there's no way in the world that you deserve to represent my country when you can't beat the 12 other players from the team team WNBA. I'm sorry. Beyond the fact that that Chelsea Gray has no business on this team, Kelsey Plum has no business on this team, Jackie Young has no business on this team, Nafisia Collar is injured. She has absolutely no business on this team. Diana Taurasi should not be on this team. If you want to know who, which players should be on this team, it's Brittany, I mean, it's uh, Brianna Stewart, Asia Wilson, Sabrina Ionescu, who did not play well, Brittany Griner. Everybody else, 
Mm. They're replaced. They're replaced. Arike's on this team. Caitlin Clark is on this team. Alicia Gray is on this team. Angel Reese is on this team. Like, Ogumuke might be on the team. But you told us that this is the, this is the best team that we got, and we, it's not. The best team we got just played that team. The best team we got in this country just beat that team. And they beat them like a drum. Like a drum. I don't want to hear about toughness. I don't want to hear about physicality. I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. You got beaten like a drum by your contemporaries who did not make this team. Don't tell me that you're not prepared. Wasn't it y'all who said, oh, we have years of preparation for this? Years. You've got to be kidding me. I expected this. I expected it. The WNBA All-Stars were down by, by four at halftime. They outscored Team USA by 11 in the third, took over the game. They were up 19 with about seven, eight minutes to go. Ran them off, they ran them off the floor. They ran them off the floor. And that's with Caitlin Clark going over seven from three. She did have 10 assists, though. Had she played the fourth quarter, she would have had 15. But you know what? She chose to let Sue Bird ha- keep her record for a little longer. She could have been selfish, chose not to be. She had to pass Angel Reese, which set the world on fire and got an assist that way, which was cool. But they got they but Team USA got, got his ass kicked. And then you hear them after the game complaining about, oh my God, the defense. Are we gonna have to play defense like this next year? This is so tiring, blah, blah, blah. That's Asia Wilson and Brown Stewart. Like, bro, what did you think was gonna happen? This is competition. I appreciated that game. I appreciated the effort. Because we saw last year's game. If you saw last year's game, I suggest you go look at it. It was like a men's NBA All-Star game. Be last to the rim. No one's guarding anybody. Boring as hell. This was great. This was competition. This is what I expect from the best players in the world. I expect them to do this. Both ways. I expect competition. I expect All-Stars to compete. I enjoy it. People don't want to watch the All Star and the men put on. It's it's, it's 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 a travesty. I don't watch it at all. It's a waste of my time. It's two hour, two to three hours of wasted time. I'd rather just watch paint dry because that that game is a joke. But I hope to God we don't go back to seeing what we saw last year, next year, because what we saw this year makes you want to watch defending. Tough play, physicality, but at the end of the day, the next time they do Team USA versus Team WNBA in four years, it should be for the winner to go to the Olympics. It should be for the winner to go to the Olympics. Make it mean something. More than bragging rights. Because if my Team WNBA beats my Team USA, then my Team WNBA is Team USA. And it doesn't matter who's on it. Replace them all. Replace them all. Because that what was that is what was earned on Saturday night. What did you think of the All-Star game? Leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that the team w, that team WNBA should replace Team USA in the Olympics right now? I do. They won the game. They're the best team we got. So why wouldn't we? Clearly, playing together doesn't matter all that much. But leave, a, leave a thought. Leave a comment. Love to hear what you got to say. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow. Ring that bell. Come on now.